Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Only Better, and um, well, I got more good news and more bad news. Uh, good news is, I thought I figured out a system. Well, I'm just gonna talk. I, I'm not, it's not a good news, bad news situation, I'm just gonna talk. Um, I did like, I don't know, I added like four more mods. I did the toll upgrade, or the toll class mod, where it gives you like, quality tools. So it gives you like, you know, um, uh, let's see, I got, I got one here that I just made. Uh, here we go. So the quality is sweeping. Uh, I guess plus 20% attack speed and 0.5 reach. I needed a silk touch pickaxe for when I start my, uh, bob grinder. But, um, anyways. Um, I did a little landscaping more than anything else. I went and, uh, put up a fence and... You know, set up my blocklings to do, you know, the farming, and the uh, I set up a little tree area over there, but the the blockling over there kept, you know, getting stuck inside of, you know, a, a birch tree, so it kept, you know, suffocating. So all the work I did, I'd have to put it back. I'd have to reset it. So I stopped doing that, and I left my farmer guy out here, and he was doing great, like. Like, nothing bad was happening, and then I was working on something special that I'm going to get into in a couple of minutes, and he drowned. So, so I'm like, okay, I, he had, like, level 50 farming. Like, I was like, no, I'm not, not even doing it again. Like, maybe later, but this mod, this particular trial run is about over, so I don't care. I'm not messing with it anymore. And the guy I got, the one little blockling that I decided to let loose with a sword... And say, hey, defend this place. So you just wander around and, you know, anything comes by, go ahead and kill it. Why not? He's the only one that survives. Like, he survived probably about four hours of gameplay where the tree guy died like four times and the farmer died like twice. But the combat blockling survived. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to say. I am both impressed and disgusted with the blocklings. Like, I don't even know what, what to say. But, um, so I came up with a couple, I had a couple things. One, I found a, a zombie villager, so I gave him an emerald apple. And it turn, it fixes him, turns him back into, like, a, uh, back into a normal villager. Kind of like uh, the health potion a golden apple does, or whatever it's called. Let's see, let me get my remote out. I put everything away, because, well, I'll tell you in a little bit. We're getting to that. So, if you go in here and you type in Emerald Apples, you give them an Emerald Apple and it does, like, unlocks trades or, you know, cures zombie villagers, you know, whatever. Does some things. Oh, and I upgraded my... My guy. I gave him a name. His name is Knuckles. He runs around, does Knuckles things. I don't really do anything with him. I just let him do his thing. Gave him some iron armor. And a chest. He's a cool guy. Uh, how do? Okay. So see, trade one unlocked. Ah, crap. So now I can give him uh, rotten flesh again because I maxed that out. And I thought it gave him another trade. I guess not. I thought it unlocked the trade as well as I didn't know if it you know revamped it. But okay, whatever. So they don't do exactly what I thought they did. No big deal. Um, I went and, uh, went over here. I guess I can't really get out unless I have the spider pet. Uh, at inventory. Wow, look at all these pets. How did I get all these? I cheated them in. So, got this, uh, since, you know, you guys already know that I just did the cheater cheater thing. Um, I went to creative mode. And, um, first off, I did it because, well, I died underground, and I wanted to get my stuff back, because I was trying to figure out why my little, uh, quarry over here was only getting cobblestone, and it was doing it for, like, a while, so I, I was slightly concerned, and, well, it turns out that there was water and lava down there. So it was doing like an infinite, um, uh, infinite, 
cobblestone generator. So it just kept mining the cobblestone that was being created. So I had to go down and fix that. And it was a lot easier to bail out lava and water if you're in creative mode. And I already had a reason to be in creative mode. So, you know, sue me. Um, now, why I got all the inventory pets is I went in and I removed all their recipes. You cannot craft a single inventory pet unless I, you know, missed one. So that uh, increases your drive to want to go and explore. Um, so if you want inventory pets, you have to go. Oh, I missed one. Uh, anyways, where I have, I'll have to fix that. So the jester pet I gotta fix. I don't think it does anything. Spawns foolishness. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to get rid of it anyway. But I even got these like really crazy legendary ones, and I wonder how I missed that. Probably because it's between the uncraftable ones. You can't craft a cloud pet or any of these Christmas pets. So I think I just missed that because of that. Anyways, so I missed one. Gotta remember. Gotta remove the jester pet at some point. And, um, yeah. So, um, I spent about an hour, two hours doing, uh, writing code and script, and I was interesting. I put in waystones. Um, I put in, uh, quality tools, like I said, and waystones were the two mods I added. Besides the custom title screen, uh, mine tweakers, and mine tweaker recipe crafter, recipe minecraft crafter, I don't know, whatever it's called. Uh, so I, and I did a bunch of research on how to actually do it, and it was a whole lot of copy and pasting, but there was a couple I writ by hand. I did want to do, which by no, which is a big feat for me, I'm, I don't, I haven't done coding since like, I don't know, 10th grade, so I, I don't know much about it. And I didn't like it, so I didn't keep up on it. Like, I learned how to do it, and then I, you know, never did it again. So, yeah. Uh, the only item quality tools put in was this. So, we have that. Um, I took out the recipe for... Oh, come on. Um... I was gonna remove all this, but I don't have a lot of, uh, cosmetic things in here, so I figured I'd keep it. Plus, that'd be a big pain. Um, I wonder if it'll show the recipe for this. Oh, I'll just show you. Um, I'll just have to remember that. <laughs> Good luck, right? I thought about doing a recipe for these soul stones. Like, you can make a soul stone and then do something to make these guys. Because these are hard to get unless you find a boss. And then they spawn in like a little minion. Uh, but there's one of these that fall in the same category but have an extra effect. That have a difficult time gauging like... What would be this one here? I'd have a difficult time building a recipe for this that would be reasonable because you can only get that one through summoning and killing a boss. So there, there's that. Uh, all the inventory pets were blacked out. Um. So here are the tomes. Bam, recipes. So here's my here's my thought. All right, I wanted to do like apprentice books and novice books and all that but I, if you or dictionary them or whatever it only did it as far as being like i wasn't guaranteeing that that was going to work so i decided you remember in in school when they had those stupid book socks so i seen this stupid gelatinous slime drop and that's the first thing i thought so i was like okay so we'll make it we'll make it you need the gelatinous slime drop you need the wizard's handbook and you need the silk touch of crystal ore to, for the core recipe, then for the tier for the tier option, um, you need a lofty, an apple of lofty stature, which is crafted this way. It's the cheapest of the apples, and then this one you need a golden apple, which is real simple, and then this one you need an emerald apple, which might not necessarily be more expensive than than the golden apple. I don't really know, but it's. The idea is you have to be at a level of the game where you have some form of silk touch to be able to upgrade your wand, unless you find them. So, that was kind of my idea to keep it, like, kind of gauged. I don't really know. I don't know if that was a good call or a bad call on my part, but we'll find out. And now that I know how to do it, I can always fix it. Now, I didn't remove these from the game. I just took away their crafting recipes. So, if you go out and adventure and you find them, fair game. 
but you can't craft them. And mostly because I can't put bobbles in here, so like every time I put bobbles in it keeps crashing everything and I have no idea why. So I figured um, having creative flight by just, you know, I think it was like two bone blocks, a couple feathers, and another word might be a little, uh, might be a little too overpowered. So we got rid of that. Um, I think I pretty much left everything else the same. Uh, I got a couple more things, so let's just, uh, skip to it, save some time. So, matter overdrive. Um, I, I got recipes for the pills now. Ready? Bam. Alright. So, to make the red pill, you need two blocks of redstone, and four redstone dust. Then you need two ender orbs, and emerald dust. So, uh, to get emerald dust, you have to have silk touch to get an emerald orb. So, I, I kind of weighed pretty heavy into the, uh... It's uh, needing silk touch to get some of these here, you know, class specifications. So you need silk touch to become a wizard. You need silk touch to become an android. For the most part, unless you go out exploring and get lucky enough to find it. This is just an alternative way in case you have a hard time finding what you need. And, you know, it's expensive, but it's not crazy expensive. You need eight eyes bender, eight redstone dust, and two and 18 iron ingots. That, that's not horrible. So, I figured that would be reasonable. Now, here's my recipe for this. Uh, four diamond dust, two blue slime crystals, two ender orbs of translocating, and the only blue powder I could find was concrete powder. So, that's what I went with. Um, which I figured that's not a bad, it's not a bad option. So, oh cool, alright. And then for the last one, uh, golden eyes. But you need two of them. Uh, one thing of Eulorium dust, which I hope you can craft, which you can't craft, so I gotta, I gotta fix that. Uh, four yellow dye, two Eulorium blocks, which are easy, but I gotta figure out a way to do Eulorium dust or switch that. And the golden eyes, I didn't know how to do the durability thing, like I tried, and for some reason it, it didn't work, so I might try to fix that, but if I don't, it doesn't matter. Because when you craft the golden eyes, they craft empty, and you have to charge them. So, it's an eye vendor surrounded by gold nuggets. So, that's that. And, um... Okay, that was... That was pretty, uh... That was lengthy. Okay, so that pretty much does the pills. So, I gotta remember, I gotta change the Eulorium dust. I either gotta make a recipe for Eulorium dust, or I gotta get rid of Eulorium dust. For that recipe. Which, whichever one. Uh, so, now I want to check out chargers. So, I decided that I want rid of this. So now there's no crafting recipe for it. You can't make it. I, I have one, but at next world, I won't be able to get it. And I figured that's probably the best, the best course of action. Because it, it's way too overpowered. If I can charge, you know, five guns and my, you know, three gadgets in 30 seconds of just, you know, being around. That kinda, it takes away a little of the game, I guess. Um, so I tried the whole villager thing, I was working with the blocklings thing. Um, I cleared an area for my, uh, first mob farm. I'm gonna do another, ow. That didn't hurt me, cool beans. But I'm gonna do, um, a mob farm here, then I'm going to try the copy and paste function, and take it to the hunting dimension, and make a second mob farm over there. And that's pretty much all I did. I mean, I spent a decent amount of time since last episode just plugging in, you know, code. So, which is not perfect, but it's crazy better than what it was. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Now, these guys are spawning because I have a villager locked up over there. And they're both an asset and a hindrance. Um, if I open a chest, they attack me. Which isn't bad because, you know, I get emeralds and um, all kinds of different items. Now look at that. Kill him, Blockling, kill him. Okay, never mind. Well, okay, my that Blockling finally died. What the heck? Where'd he come from? 
Okay, took care of those guys. And you can see I have, uh... I put... I didn't really, you know, I can't find out how to do the whole chunk thing. Something I pressed to put, um... The bounds up for these machines, which was awesome. But I don't know how to do, like, the chunk thing. To see what the chunks are. I thought it was, like, function F9. But I don't know. It, it didn't work. So I just put, um chunk loaders in various areas and figured it'd be fine. Uh, you know, there's one there, one there, one there, and then there's one in the house. I figured I only had four, so I didn't want to be a super cheater. Although I kind of kind of already am, I guess. Yeah, I'm figuring it's just easier that way. So we're going to put this junk away, and we'll get into the last part of the episode that I want to get into. I guess we'll just... All my blocklings are reset to the zero level one again so you know forget all that so i went in while i was in uh, creative mode i cheated in all the reactor stuff so i wanted to do that because i figured it would be well i don't know it's just oh you are gonna die i figured it's just gonna be i don't know save a lot of time and resources right, more than anything else I mean I might need more stuff but right now this is a a pretty significant amount of stuff what are they freaking out about I don't know what the heck they're doing alright so we're gonna take I actually don't know how to build one of these. I built one in my Tech Guns series, but I haven't built one since. And I think I'm just going to go, like, one in from the edge. And I'm just going to put all the housings down, I think, to here. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think it'll be a six by five on the inside. Or out. I guess it's only a 4x5 on the inside. That's fine. Alright. Now the big thing we gotta figure out... Well, I guess we'll figure out everything else first. Let's do the... Controller here. Uh, we'll put coolant port here and the access port here. Um, I'm gonna put these guys on the side here. One, two, three. Two, three. Three. Wait. Oh. Oh, it tells me what's wrong. Good hood. That's great. Because if I had to guess, I would be so screwed. Okay, so we're gonna throw that one on there. And that's going to be our main uh, interface area. So uh, now we're going to take this reactor glass down and we're going to take this here uh, fuel rod stuff. Now I got 22 of these. Now I don't know how I want to do this. I had a plan, but now that I look at it, it's not that good of a plan. So, so let's, uh, I guess we're going to... I like that. I don't know if I like that. And I'm pretty sure it has to be closed in too, so I'm probably going to need more. I have 32 glass, and I want to fill this with glass here to see inside, and I think we're going to go all the way to the top. There's not really any point of putting glass here, because it's towards the wall, so I think we're just going to fill this in. And I have 23 glass and 9 not glass. Uh, so let's do the uh, glass in the front. Alright, now it pretty much just needs a lid. Well, that and a lid. So that's going to take 8 blocks. And then I have 15 left. 
Let's see how this goes. I want to do... Let's just fill this in, too, because it's against the back wall, and we're not going to be able to see in. And I could care less if I could see through it, so... Now, it gives me room for pretty much two... I don't know if I could put them against the thing. I mean, I guess I could. So we can do, like, one here, one here, one here, one here, and then two in the middle. Yeah, we'll see if it works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. <laughs> right? And then I think... I only got four of these. Okay, so that makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, how do I want to do this? I can see if I can make two more. What does it cost me? Now, what are these called? Reactor control rods. Reactor control rods are... Now I gotta make graphite bars and stuff, which... It's going to take me more time, and we're just going to make it four. Let's, um... I still have 15 glass to fill up the top, so one, two, three, four. Okay, we can do this. I think we can do this. Let's, uh... Get a pickaxe. Alright, so I think we've got to do one, two, three, and four. Alright, I don't think that's the best configuration, but what are you going to do? I, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Actually... Um, I need to get a bucket and my coal and material. Now, I... I cheated in liquid redstone, liquid ender pearls, and water. I'm gonna test them all, but we're gonna do uh, ender pearls to begin with because I'm pretty sure that's the best. So we might as well start with the best. And a, I wonder if I can insert it. Let's try a little. Let's try a method here that I never tried. Like I said, I've only ever done this once, so I don't even know if that's like. I'm gonna kill the crap out of you. That's the wrong one. Ha! <laughs> uh, well, that's not... That's not working. So, uh... Let's, uh, just... Open that up. And get that in here. And we will just... Bucket it up in. Let's grab our... Bucket. We got an obsidian bucket. Use it. Um, okay, maybe we won't use it. What what am I doing wrong here? Okay, um... Okay, so either the bucket's broken, or the tank is broken. Let's see, let's go back into here, and let's get a normal bucket. If these buckets ain't compatible, that would be a big bummer. Ha, the bucket isn't compatible, that is insane. Um, okay, so at least we can use this then. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. I wonder if this is going to hurt me. No, no, it stays where it's supposed to. It just stays in one spot. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, crap, it hurts. And it catches me on fire, so I don't know how it's, how it's so good of a coolant. Uh, but I better find something... I'm going to die. Dead. All right. So I don't know how it's so good of a coolant. I don't know if it's the same as the actual, uh... The pyrothium? No. Um... I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. The liquid... Whatever it's... Whatever it is. 
the end liquid. Am I frozen? Like, I'm frozen. Guess what that means? Time for a drink. Don't worry, guys. It's only water. I can't. I can't afford any, any of the good stuff. <sighs> At least not for a little while, anyway. A couple of days. Maybe. Maybe a week. Who knows? I gotta concern myself with uh, figuring out a dentist appointment. That's something that's pretty important. I, uh, part of my tooth broke off. That's not, that's not normal. It's not something that's supposed to happen. Actually, for being technical, like, a couple parts of my tooth broke off. Like, two different teeth. So, I don't know what caused that, but, uh, you know. I brush my teeth pretty often. I mean, not as, you know, dentist recommended or whatever, you know, because that always got me. People barely have time to, like, well, I don't want to say that. People act like they don't have time to do anything. And yet they expect you to brush your teeth, like, four times a day. Like, yeah, right. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> uh, please don't die. There's no freaking way it's gonna kill me. Um... Oh, okay. I was about to douse myself in water. So, can I do it like this? Well, this... Oh, no. What is the meaning? What is the point of this? Reactor glass may not be used on the exterior faces, not as part of the reactor frame or interior. Re wait, reactor glass may only be used on exterior faces, not as part of the reactor frame or interior. The reactor glass is not part of the... You know what? Last time I did this, I had to, like, go off camera and then fix it and then come back on camera, like, a couple days later and be like, Oh, so, yeah, yeah I messed up this. Uh, last time I messed up the, the fact that it, uh... I didn't put a roof on it. So... Uh, this time there's definitely a roof, so I don't know what's, uh, what the problem is exactly. I have two bu two buckets in there. Oh crap! There we go. All right, so we got that out of there. Uh, let's try. The reactor glass is not part of the frame, so I don't know what exactly it's talking talking about, or not part of the interior. Uh, two fifty four, negative two fifty four, eighty one sixty five. Negative 254. Negative 254. 80. This? This is the exterior, isn't it? Or do I need them for like, around the outside. Alright. <laughs> you guys might be catching this the next episode. I might have to go watch another freaking tutorial. Wait, is that... Okay, now. I'm trapped! Wait. How am I trapped exactly? Where did I... Oh, here we go. I was like, how did I get in there? Alright, so... I want to remove these three. And then try putting these around the edges. You pros are probably sitting there like... 
No wonder this guy don't have any subscribers. But that's not entirely true. I have like three subscribers, thank you very much. But anyways, it's working! So, alright. Uh, let's, um... Will this work? What is the point of this, this port? Ah! I'm gonna die. I made it! 12% of life left. Yes. Um, why do I have infinite water? There we go. What is going on? It's all glitching. Okay, so... Let's see, will water work? Because that might just not be the right stuff. Nope, water doesn't go in there either. Uh, what if I... Do this. Nope, obviously not. Okay, so how are we going to do this? How are we going to pull this off? Um, but let's just get rid of all this. Now I want... I only have one of those. Where do I want to go? There it is. I want... Auto-eject waste. Cold fluid tanks. Hot fluid tanks. So I need two coolant ports? Oh, we're doing that. I don't have an interface on any of these, except for this. But what if I put this in the... Nope, not, not doing that. Oh, crap. You know, I looked up a couple videos in the past before I was working on this, uh, a different mod pack, and I was looking for, you know good coolants and, you know, stuff like that, and I, I didn't have good results, and I think it's because there just isn't any. Oh, crap. Well, that should make my life a little easier, to be honest. Instead of, you know, looking like I'm having a seizure. Uh, do we have... I guess this ain't, like, source blocked up yet. Let's, uh... Throw one there. Where else is this freaking out at? Throw one there. Take that one because that doesn't have to be there. Throw one there. It's still running towards the middle. How is that even a thing? Okay, it looks like they're all pretty much source blocks. So if I do that, we should have a working power generator. Now I need... Now let's see. I need the power cable. No, don't tell me I don't have any more. I could have swore I had more. Um, okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, let's do... Uh... battery. I have an empty one. And that should... Oh, it's charging from the... Oh, great. Look how fast that charges from that wireless charger. That's just freaking ridiculous. Okay, so the battery ain't gonna work. Let's, um... Because it's, it's charged. <laughs> now. It's charged now, so it's, that's not gonna work. Um... What am I gonna do? Uh, I wanted to test it, but I'm not gonna be able to test it with... Because I don't have any... Well, I guess we have this. Automatic user. 
block placer. That'll work. Um, maybe, maybe not. I can't. I ain't allowed to have it. Like, are you freaking kidding me? All right. Um. No, now, now I can have it. So I don't know if I put this right onto here. Is it gonna give me? Anyway, it won't even give me interface. Like, what the heck's going on here? Uh, let me get some. I can't even. Okay. Um. It's not letting me enter my storage unit either now, so I don't know why this is being so complicated. I really don't. Yep, can't even enter it directly. So, oh well, I'm not really prepared. So we built the generator. This is what a generator should look like. The only thing that is different is how you can organize the inside um, the reactor tubes. Because these are supposed to, I was pretty sure these had an interface, and you could change their output and stuff. But you can change how tall they are, and their configurations. This is not the, the most, um, this is not the best configuration, but it, it'll work all the same. So, for the test, I want to make sure this will work, and everything will be integrated properly. So, I'll have to prepare the right cables and stuff, and I think next episode we'll test this, and I'll have the, uh, the first mob thing built and then i think we'll start our oh look now there we go now everything's popping up at the same time is this thing gonna get <sighs> and now it stops all right doesn't matter I'm gonna finish the outro and i'm done with this for tonight um I'm, I'm a little frustrated from the script writing i think more than anything else so um i'm going to set up what i'm going to do with this and how to make sure it works for my mod pack. I'm going to build a um, a mob grinder of sorts, which is another thing I might change the recipe of. Um, it takes, I think I did the math that it takes 48 iron per um, single mob grinder thing. So I would need like four, almost four stacks of iron, probably safe to say three stacks to make three mob grind or four um, mob grinder thingies the powered ones so i'm thinking about changing it that you get four spikes from one recipe and then the next recipe will leave it the same because it takes two spikes to make one of the i'll show you so this this here takes Six and nine, fifteen iron for one. What the crap? This takes fifteen iron for one, like I was saying. So, and this takes two of these. So it takes thirty iron plus four. So thirty-four plus nine is forty-three iron to make one. So if I could set this up to take fifteen iron to make four of these, then it would take. Then I'd have four of these for one for 15 pieces of iron. So it would take seven and a half iron plus four is 11 and a half iron plus nine is 20 and a half iron per one of these three diamonds, which I think is much more manageable and much more fair for, in my opinion. So I think that's what I'm gonna change this recipe to. And it's gonna be very simple. I just leave the recipe exactly the same and just put this as a as a four. So I'll take the recipe, throw it in my little uh, tweaker, and then at the end of the iron spikes portion, I just put a an asterisk and a four, done. And that'll be the simple fix to a big problem. Because here, here's why I feel that way. This takes what did I say? Forty two pieces of iron to make, and this takes four. And the upgrades take four. But these take 42. I mean, taking 20 iron it just sounds a whole lot more fair. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I, that's going to be one fix. I plan to make a new title screen. So if I make the new title screen, get this up and running, change the recipes for the grinding unit, and make the grinder, then I think we're at a pretty good, we're at a pretty good spot. I, couldn't, I can't even kill myself, right? Oh well, 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, next episode, hopefully, I can demonstrate that and do everything I said and yada, yada, yada. And catch you next time.